think anybody noticed if we snuck out now. <laughs> Metavoy might. Oh, Metavoy would definitely notice. We don't have to be the last lead, though. Promise? I promise. <laughs> anybody have anything to say? Yeah, I could use a few toasts, huh? <laughs> uh, to my partner, to my friend. Now, Greg, I know you may not think so, but most of what I learned about being a detective, I learned from you. And I'm going to miss being in that car with you. I'm going to miss you dumping all the paperwork off on me. <laughs> I'm even going to miss waiting for you to order in restaurants. Hi. I'm going to miss it all, buddy. Me too. Cheers. 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 Uh, as I look around this table, I realize that uh, you people have been my co-workers, my friends. <sighs> That's big. As long as I live, I'll never stop being grateful for having worked with you. Here's to you guys, and here's to the guy who invented this job. Here's to you, Greg. Here's to you, buddy. Here's to you, buddy. I'm blessed, Greg. Congratulations, Detective. Uh, thanks, Chief. <laughs> uh, uh, Bridget Schofield, this is uh, uh, Chief Duffy, uh, Chief of Detectives. How do you do? Very nice to meet you. Yeah. Could you excuse me? <laughs> Talk to you for a second. Chalk it up to Lieutenant Bell being on pain medication or not, but I got a call from them recommending you take over the squad. You know anything about that? Yeah, Chief. I asked him to make the call. You asked him? He offered, but then I took him up on his offer. So you're actually serious about this? Yeah. You realize I got a dozen bosses ahead of you all waiting to take over the squad? I understand. But don't get me wrong, Andy. You're a great detective. That doesn't mean you're ready to be a CO. I guess that's an evaluation you'll make for yourself, sir. Okay. It ain't gonna happen. Not now. You've been a sergeant for 10 minutes. You're basically unsupervisable. I, mean, I don't get it. What the hell was Bell thinking? Maybe he thought I'd make a decent boss. I'd make a decent head coach for the Giants. That doesn't mean I'm the man for the job. I got time in the Bureau. Every boss on the list has time in the Bureau. I know the squad. Which could be a detriment to your command. The squad has been through a bunch of command changes over the past few years. Every time they got to get adjusted to a new boss with a new management philosophy, they can do it. They have done it. Right. But it takes something out of them. Instead of focusing on working their cases, they're thinking more about where they stand with the new guy, whether it'll hurt them or not. What happens when you get tapped to be a boss over a major case, when you leave? That's not going to happen. Who says? I do. Commanding this squad, teaching them, keeping them out of harm's way. That's my last job. I don't want to go anywhere from there. I, I'm not looking for any more promotions. There'd be nothing else I'd ever want to do. Anyway, there's more qualified candidates, so bad. You want this job? Yes, sir. <clears throat> they want you on the days, Chief. I'll be right out. yours. Don't make me regret this. I'd like to thank everyone for coming. This is one of those occasions that's happy and sad both. Happy on account of we're celebrating the careers of detectives Tommy Doyle, the Queen's Homicide, Rick Torelli in the Barrier Section, and Greg Metavoy, 15th Squad. We wish them well as they embark on new endeavors, enjoy their retirement, and so forth. At the same time, we're sad because we're losing the distinguished service these three men provided over these many years. Major Chief, I salute you.